hype, 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 and we're live here with R2 CNC Net World Championships once again. Second game we have for this entire tournament or the R2 segment is going to be Latov, our fan favorite Latov down on bottom right here, also known as Ken's Lazo, against the number one player in the world. So is the number one seed, uh, Woody. On the left side here, the undefeatable, unstoppable Woody, who has not lost a series on YouTube on uh, normal RE2, vanilla RE2, or uh, YouTube Revenge. So, that's something to see for sure. Will that not be able to turn the tides? Or will he be able to sort of put up a really good fight for Woody? We all know how much uh, Woody's a beast, you know, we all know how much he dominates people uh, simply due to micro and just huge big brain economic plays but for Lantov, he's been leveling up recently, he's been absolutely leveling up I don't have stats like Doofus does because I don't have time to but look, I, I did, I did, uh, had the idea of trying to look up stats but I really don't have time for it but all I know is, uh, from what people have been telling me, Latov has been killing it in QM lately. Tons and tons and tons of uh, wins against Woody. Uh, Woody might have gone allied in that case too, if I remember correctly. So, opening here we got two uh, double drones, or a double drone for both players actually from Latov and Woody. And similar positions here, there's one hidden behind the tree for Woody. And the second drone from both players is by this... Little crevice here. Oh, that's off. That's a huge mistake from him there. And Woody's gonna get this drone in. Oh, nice from Latov. Fortunately, he does get a second one droned. So, delayed once again. Woody's on 4 minus there. Latov's on 4 as well. 2 each. Similar builds. Is that? Yeah, literally the same builds here. But the difference here is that Latov will have to go for that service depot. And Woody opts for a radar. Seeing this happen again, Woody opting for tech on Stormy Weather. Latov's gonna do the same. We know Latov heavily favors that radar for his desos. But Woody seems to be going with pure tech for this map. Stormy Weather, pretty small map, but you're quite limited on resources. Oh! So <laughs> that drone was a bit yikes. But yeah, Stormy Weather is a quite a small map with very limited resources. Latov just sniped that oil there. And Woody's gonna return the favor. So going on tech early is pretty common to see here. Both players already on the lab. So IT is gonna come up soon. We're gonna see a naval yard up as well. And Latov, yeah, there's the first naval yard. From Woody. Latov's gonna split down three rhinos onto bottom left. Let's get pulled back there. Woody microing his minus back away from that area. I sees are up. Lads up slightly later. But this naval yard. If he gets dressed out of the way, that'll be devastating. Uh, but lots of ops for a squid and a cure of. And it looks like Woody goes for a squid as well. Woody's gonna kill that <laughs> middle bridge. I thought she'd probably expand now, uh, once he gotten that uh, second gold patch. She might she, she would be microing this miners away as well, there you go. There, there were similar builds right at the start there, Michael. A couple of drones here for Latov. Sea Scorpion out for Woody. That's great actually, Sea Scorpions are great with dealing with Kirov in this area, but the squid is right there. Uh, unfortunately, the assist copying can still attack huge drones along the top there. That's gonna slow him down a little bit on that, I see. But we're just gonna try and take this oil away from Latov. Oh, the assist copying going around the water there. It's gonna take out that care of. Look at what is positioning here with that, I see. It's ready and waiting out the pops. Yeah, I might have I see that sentry gun as well, but that's gonna take out a lot of Latov's rhinos. And the care of goes down as well. That's off side season already. Is he gonna counter play? Is he, gonna, he might show the lab as well. He does counter. I think he'll be able to push Woody away. On the back of that, Woody you now on two wars. That's off still on one war. And that I see you there was a little bit. Um, he was he was waiting for it, right? He was waiting and hoping to get a little bit more uh, damage out onto Woody. 
Unfortunately, didn't get that much. Good snipe there for that rhino. But it's uh, looking pretty tough here for lots of that. And there we are out. Um, I don't know whether Woody just knows lot of space on this map to go kill off. This is why he made those sea scorpions without any dreads. But lots of uh, nation in Naval Yard was probably, probably a little bit more reactive and a little bit more of an impulse rather than something that he planned for it. He was hoping that a dread would come out, I think, from Woody's Naval Yard so he could come through with Squid. Alright, Ice is going to be ready here for Woody. Icy drone down to its bottom left. Top right, Woody tried to split but let us sense his uh, rhinos are to deal with it. Woody waiting for that. I see. Look at his positioning here. He's going to try and wait for it. Can he get it in time? No, Latop does his already. I think I see at the same time here. Latop slightly later, but he doesn't want to lose that many rhinos. Woody, I see all of his rhinos there. So Latop's going to lose maybe two or three. But the time is going to be close. This is the uh, <laughs> the, the bad thing about having really close ICs. If you can time them well with your opponent, they're going to cancel each other out pretty nicely. So, Woody now on 4 walls, let off still on 3, okay, still on 3 walls, not the worst thing ever. It's going to repair their bridge in the middle. Woody's Navy Yard is still available. Got 5, 6, 7 minus for Woody. Let off is on 4, 5, 6, 7 minus as well. And he has a third ref up and let off. <laughs> Repairing the bridge while Woody killing it immediately. Saying, no bitch, this is my island and my gems more importantly. Those drones are gonna be great. That's uh, defending against this rhinos in case it goes forward. It's a beat a box hit man, I think for a follow. There you go, one drone going coming out, but Woody now has a nuke already as well. Latov on 4 walls, Woody on 4 as well. It's just a kind of a little bit of a stalemate play at the moment. Latov repairs that bridge once again. Seeing that Woody is so far away, he's gonna IC the drones! Well, Woody splits down to the top right here. Woody, is he gonna IC the rhinos? He is! That's huge there. I think Latov shouldn't have went for the IC drones because Woody had an IC2 counter those drones. He takes out the power. Latov sells it. Gets an elite as well. But he saves the power! Latov absolutely sends the power and Woody is preoccupied. He's a preoccupied, he loses two minus at right at the start and he's gonna double back here trying to get an elite out of the way. That's gonna help him combine with his reinforcements as well with that veteran rhino. That elite should be going down here but Latov is gonna overpower Woody. Tank control is not there for Woody. Is he gonna push forward here? Woody does have the tank numbers to deal with Latov. Even though he was in a horrible position there, the elite is still alive. I think you saw that Woody definitely micro that uh, that, uh, that Rhino to go all the way back in the army when the uh, Rhinos were out of position. That was insane. This game hits me on the nostalgia feels absolutely boring, Larry. That was insane there uh, from Woody microing that elite Rhino around the back, even though his Rhinos were in a horrible, horrible position. And that IC was taken out, not the power actually, forgive me. Taking out that IC was absolutely huge and now Woody has an IC and it's really, really turning up the tides here now Woody. IC pops up, doesn't get the elite but the uh, small force on bottom left is ready to push in as well. Woody's gonna use his IC and push him all the way through. Absolutely all the way through and this is gonna be devastating here. That's how my witness engagement down the middle but bottom left there's still a lot more rhinos to join the fights and now that nuclear missile is ready to be launched. And this nuke is gonna be fucking devastating. But I think that's a good thing is Latov does has been long distance mining those gems. Uh, not the worst thing ever, and now comes that nuke. Probably go here, get that radar as well. Goes for the ref, interesting. I would have went for that radar. Uh, just so he wouldn't be able to build another lab. No, no shield, this is R2. <laughs> read, read the title. Thanks, sir. Come on. Imagine coming to a stream and not reading the title. Imagine. 
All right, so we've come to a, to a point where there's not much eco laps on the map. This is what Stormy Weather is known for, for being a small map with not that many resources and tons of uh, ways to play the map. So you can go naval, you can go land. You know, there's lots of stuff. You can go land up, split falls on the top. It gets icy drone. He doesn't have an icy to counter. And the bottom left split as well. Not going to do much. Why is the target from that top before the rhinos die? It's going to be those miners. Does he get one? He does get one. The second one is not going to go down, however. Yikes. <laughs> what are you cheating? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he clearly has map hack, guys. Come on. Come on, come on. Who would lose to Legend? I mean, I mean, who would win against Legend? I mean, he's the at number one. Uh, yeah, Lato just killing himself there. He doesn't. He, he, he had enough. GG. Water for this game. That's 1 0. Yeah, that, that's something I noticed as well, Water. Uh, Woody plays allies a lot in QM, but when it comes to tournaments and stuff like that, he goes he goes pure, pure Soviet. Uh, he doesn't go pure Soviet, he does go allies from time to time, but. It's, uh. It's, I think it's definitely something to be seen here. Woody knows that he can play a really high level Soviet, but chooses to play America or uh, allied because he wants to challenge. He wants to challenge in QM, but he doesn't want to challenge in tournament because this is actual money to be won. I mean, $150, that's a lot of money in China. A lot of money in China. Mm-hmm, a lot of money. You can, you can buy like five hookers, you know? That's how expensive uh, hookers are now these days. I wouldn't know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know. I, I don't do hookers. I mean, if, if, if you call him Madness one, hey! Uh, he's my number one hooker. Don't you? No, no, I'm not. I keep it to children. No, not children. Wait, what? No, I keep it. Sets. Uh, I, I keep it to nothing. I keep it to nothing. I keep it to nothing. I'm a virgin. I'm a man of God. And we have a double drone here from Latov. Single drone from Woody. Uh, Woody, you know, Latov walling up his MCV. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't stop talking. Wait, what? And I'm, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just uh, shit housing at the moment. <laughs> social suicide is a dude, social suicide is the best kind of term for that, right? Social suicide. I like that. I like that. It's what Matt does every day. <laughs> All right. So single drone from Woody. You got double from laptop. Where is the double drone? Uh, I I got lost somewhere in this house somewhere. Oh, good sentry gun there behind that wall factory. Where are you going, Mr. Sandman? Give me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. We've got five minus four. Let's have wall factory down bottom right. What is yes. E -E Sunset U Leo T at seven minus four. Let's have and Woody Ots for a second drone. Has nothing on top left just yet. <laughs> I <laughs> don't condone it. <laughs> Thought bubble has three hookers worth. A drone from Woody. You know, hookers in Singapore are kind of disguised as massage parlors. Alright, so busy, po. I don't know. I think it is not legal, yeah? Oh, double drone! <laughs> I don't think you can save it. I don't think you can save it. No, that's off. So that's why Woody went with a second drone there. Double drone down bottom right and saw bottom left. I'm gonna stop shit housing now <laughs> and actually commentate. God damn it. Oh, water. Oh, hold on, hold on. Woody hasn't won yet, but thank you very much. I've turned off the alerts because it'll lag on my stream, but. <laughs> All right, Woody now pushing down with a false down to his bottom left. Let's off does have a false down. Or a wolf actually done bottom right. He's on three walls now. Woody's on three, four walls as well. Two, four, six, seven minus. Latov's still on seven as well, I think. Four, five, six, seven. Yep, he has to spin it onto his bottom right. And Woody actually spinning Latov in two ways here. Small rhino along the top and on the bottom. Latov seems to be ignoring that second split. And he is going to use that split down on bottom right to push forward here. I think that's going to pull Woody back, which is uh, pretty good to see. So he doesn't get attacked that much. 
Bang to water. Even though Woody hasn't won yet. <laughs> Alright, here comes Woody now. Three way split down on the lower on the bottom right. That's our results to Jerome to defend. And looks like that's gonna say, fuck it, you can't have a go at my base and we're gonna trade you. Interesting. The drones haven't been primed yet, and okay, now it's primed on bottom left. Woody coming in for another force as well. That's how putting that fight to his bottom left, but back in Woody's base, he's still running around in circles. He's not really pushing anything anywhere. Woody's still very, very alive and true here, but Latov maybe made the wrong idea, or uh, the wrong move here in pushing up and ignoring while Woody's knocking on his door. Yikes. Maybe not the best decision out of Latov, but if Woody, if he can, if he can out micro, or pull micro away from Woody, this would be great. Three ways here from Latov, top, bottom. And I think defending as well down back in base. Split down bottom goes down, but that's of course GG, yikes. Hey listen, Legend of TNT number one, you can't bully him, okay? Don't don't bully our top player. He's gonna leave for Rambo play, you know. He's gonna leave for Rambo play, it's not gonna come back and he's gonna be Ram Rambo play number one. And our CNT net number one will be Marco. Do you really want Marco to be there? Do you really want Marco to be our CNT net number one? The guy who replies K and doesn't do anything else. <laughs> Legend streams with a face cam, you know? Paid actors, exactly. Imagine Marco being seen to that number one. Just imagine, dude. Imagine, imagine losing to Andy in the semi finals. <laughs> I'm a legend believer, I got paid to say this. How much did Legend pay you then? Or did you just pay yourself the money and said, Oh, I'm gonna support Legend. I'm a Legend Believer. Beep boop. Beep 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 boop. Beep boop. I am a Legend Believer. Beep boop boop. Zero zero one 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 zero zero. Yes, yes, Rick. Legend is a pretty face of CNC, yes. So basically, it's, it's like FC, right? It's like FC. Matt is the face of FC, he's the branding and everything, but the actual work is done by me and Hotwire, right? So, no one really cares about me and Hotwire, they just care about Matt, because he's the loud, drunken idiot that speaks out a lot. Right, opening, got three, no drones in yet, fourth coming now, laptop's fourth, a little bit slow. Yeah, yeah, um, this this build, right? So the miner, whenever you, it, it dumps, it'll go back. But I guess the way Latov has it done is that he immediately puts like three miners on one small jam patch, which is something you don't want to do because that jam patch is going to run out pretty quickly. Uh, but because it runs out quickly, he doesn't need to micro them back. It'll automatically go to this gold one. Who did it wrong? Latov did it wrong? I think he did. Uh, oh no, no, he can, he can. He can put a, a rat here on our radar and then go down. Oh, Woody's build here is, um, it's, it's good, but the issue here is that if if it comes to a point where Latel's pushing in on this side and Woody has to back away or he has to push in through this gap here, it's gonna be really, really bad for him because this one gap here where one runner can go through at a time, it's gonna be really hard for him to defend against. So got 8 minus 4, lots of Woody's on 3, 8 as well. Minus that drone is still top right. Interesting that he doesn't collect bottom gems with. From second level. I mean, talk about these gems? These gems are, you gotta wait for it. I don't know what you mean by that, but we're just gonna try and push in here. Laptop is severely out tanked. Oh my god. He's gonna be forced to pull back here, Laptop. He can't push in. He should be waiting around the back. Oh my god, Laptop. What? Yeah, three tanks to 20 tanks. So what? Okay, someone someone check Woody's computer, please. Someone, someone check Woody's computer. Alright, Tiger Bay. 
Head up top left. And uh, Woody bottom right. Sorry, right, so let me get back to your message. If you are playing a video game on, on a bet, you're almost winning by something your girlfriend called we on or not. Yes, of course I will. And I'm gone. Bye. Right, Preston. So the difference there is um, that I will call my girlfriend, I'll pick up the phone and play the game at the same time. Because I have good micro skills. So I can micro. <laughs> so I can micro my girlfriend and the game at the same time. How about that, man? How about them, uh, them, them apples? You know, Woody might be able to micro rhinos, miners. But can he micro a girlfriend? <laughs> That sounds wrong, man. That sounds so wrong. Alright, the uh, tech is recapped here. So, I did see Woody go for a... Uh, engineer somewhere. That's the government is already. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Um, I mean, he's, he's constantly playing on CNT net, so we can't really exclude him from this tournament. Our only hope is probably one of the Chinese guys doing uh, putting a shift in on him. Uh, which is going to be Shen, pretty soon. If Latov loses, if Latov loses. <laughs> Can I add that in there for safety? Alright, we've got three miners here for Woody. Good build, actually, with that war factory. He's going to be able to build another one straight off the bat. There's a drone. Is it gonna go for the miner? Is it gonna go for the rhino? Latov is pushing in again with three rhinos here. This is good. This is absolutely good from Latov. I just get rid of that drone. He doesn't. He's gonna die for that miner anyway. Absolutely pushing forward to that second drone comes in. Can he get that one miner? He should be able to with that one last shot, but the rhino does not get it. Three rhino push there from Latov with that drone. Did not get that miner. The miners from one took a health here. He's gonna use the remaining rhinos to get rid of that para drop from Woody. Woody reacting with a sentry gun. Can he get there in time? We're on three rhinos to three now. Second sentry gun comes up. Para drop around the bottom here. It's gonna aim for that wall factory if Lazar is not careful. Oop. And Lazar now on three minus. Woody on four. So Latov going and uh and sorry, Woody going an extra money compared to Latov. I think earlier on with that uh minus on the top here, but he does get another drone in there, Latov. Taking out that miner that was already on low health, so the mine accounts are now are is now even. And Woody's gonna push it along that top para drop while he pulls back here with that miner from Latov. It's gonna mm, drone that rhino or not. It looks like Latov going for a trade once again here. Woody and uh, defending here if he can. Woody takes out one minor. The second minor is coming up here. Latov does not have that many units back in base because his eco is so broke. He did go one less minor here compared to Woody. Woody is still concentrating on that minor. And he doesn't get a second minor. But Latov now down to one single minor. He is going to sell his MCV. He did get rid of that para drop as well. But now the sentry gun. Uh, sorry, the uh, para drop comes in from Woody onto that para drop. But this is going to be tough again from Lata. Woody is definitely going to take a chill pill now and sort of lay in his weight. He still can rebuild that MCV, but it's going to take him a long time and quite a bit of money. So the only way Lata can win here is probably to split Woody apart, but trying to out micro Woody is trying to take a, take a bone from a dog. A hungry ass dog who hasn't eaten in about three years but that was a really good push from Latov there he took out one miner uh, with and then the, the other miner with another drone but unfortunately he didn't really compensate for it with uh, some miners after that early rush looks like that para drop Woody's para drop will get rid of the airport along the top and looks like Latov amassing a bunch of connies here for a push down to its bottom right. Does what he get a death? So what is it gonna do here? So Latov absolutely should be 
using this as a distraction and pushing it with the rhino sound towards the bottom but as you can see that fight anyway tons of dogs here woody obviously putting his micro into in uh, the group of dogs into another control group so all of the dogs immediately go down and gg is being called that's 3-0 my oh my that's gonna be 4-0 sorry i mean it is one-sided but the thing is Latov isn't going down just like that, right? Unless we're talking about the jungle of Vietnam game. But Latov has been putting up a fight. Has been trying different strats here and there. Um, like, compared... I, I, I don't mean to call Leo out. But compared to Woody, uh, to Leo, who in the uh, Yuri's Revenge since Snow World Champs, he was kind of doing the same strats all over again. Four minor Yuri straight lab with double super weapons. And he kept going broke at every single time and it kind of just change doesn't change anything which to me kind of screams insanity right let off please 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 let off, off please that 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 off if this dump doesn't go into gems, I'm gonna flip. There you go. Kane Killer 1993 <laughs> says Latov, please. Latov, please. Uh, number two is either Shen or Sien Super. Alright. Actually, Bobo is a close number three. But then again, I think actually, even the Chinese scene, the, the, the gap between Woody number one and number two. It's pretty huge too. Like Bobo just got 19 zeroed or so uh, on, on a heck best of whatever. Either Shen Super or Bobo is number two. Uh it's it's hard to tell. I've been I've been talking to Shen and Kyo and the other guys and, and Geoki, okay, they've been telling me that either Shen who good control. Shen like Shen Bobo and Shen Super constantly um Taking this one. Constantly play for uh, the number two spot. Thank you very much for the bid, Steve. Steve? Chris? How dare you? <laughs> How embarrassing for me to call you Steve. How dare myself. <laughs> Where is Bobo now? Um, I don't know. I, I've been trying to set up that Bobo and Latov show match, but I've been so busy with this. It's been pretty hard. So good drone there from Latov. He did go for double drone again. Um, I'm trying to get a Bobo Woody, but according to Legend, Legend doesn't think that Latov will get even one game from Bobo. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty bold statement, right? <laughs> so we'll see. Is that trying to split down to his top left? <laughs> What's up, Sash? Alright, this is good. This is good from Latov. Doing something for something else here. This is what we call um, good micromanagement. So splitting up top. While pushing it on the bottom, gaining back the sort of middle map control. He's on five minus now. Woody on. Oh, killing the gems out of yikes. Uh, Woody's on five as well. So even builds. Double, triple war, triple war. And Woody's already touched down onto mid with a barrel. So Fodder's gonna come up pretty quickly. But Woody does have a high number of rhinos and lots of dust. But I'm pretty sure you can build all the way up to that cliff with that power plant there. It's fine. Right, right, exactly. Exactly, uh, Ron. He has the exact same number of uh, miners, but he has twice the number of rhinos. Alright, let's see here. Three-way split here from both players. Latov trying to engage that three-way split first. Woody pushing it out to its bottom and so while Latov pushes it on the top. Can he combine those forces together? At least snipe one or two miners out the way. We're just pushing in as well. Good micro on the laptop there. Unfortunately, did not get one miner up, but Woody's forces as well. Down the bottom is gonna get sniped. But well, Latov escapes with two rhinos here in a split. Woody's still spinning around the bottom as well. Another split down towards the left side here. Can Latov out micro Woody in this position? Two miners down the bottom getting attacked. That one's gonna go down. Second miner. 
in the mid. So I'm gonna go down left. I'm just gonna use that Deso to push up against it. That's a good defense right there. And the convolution here of the Rhinos down towards the middle. Woody going along the cliff, sniping a couple rounds out of the way, but Latov is gonna ignore that spin onto his bottom left. The MTV is gonna get hit. Nothing to defend this. Sell, 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 no! It's gonna use the drones. But Latov's gonna decide to push forward here with some minimal tank control. Oh, Latov. And another minor snipe there from Woody. He good, good thing that his uh, laptop did snipe one miner. And his use of deserts here are pretty good uh, with the drones as well. That's gonna deflate the health a lot more, but is it enough before that miner goes down? It's, like a, it's not gonna be enough. One miner does go down either way. And laptop split does go down after snapping one miner, but laptop calls GG immediately. And that's 5 2 0. Game number six on Cold War. Oh shit. <laughs> it's huge revenge. <laughs> I've got to set it. I've got to set it. Deary me. Deary me. I did a mat. I did a mat. So, R2. And Woody started here. Alright, so no dog and G. Yep, yep. So, hold on, so I can spam chat with Woody Cheap. So, you know, like, no, dude, calm the fuck down. If you don't like how someone's chatting, just block them and you won't see the message. Don't need to be so toxic over, um, over not liking how someone speaks. Chill, dude, chill. Chill, daddy. Right, Cold War is one map that I never understood. Um, one, because I'm not a pro player. Glitch. There's a glut. There's a glut. Shit. Oh, glitch. Where? <laughs> Sandbagging. Uh, us Ivor. King. What glitch? What glitch? Yeah, he's not gonna tell me, so <laughs> we're gonna play one. Yeah, Cold War is one map that I don't really understand. Uh, it's very asymmetrical and very, very weird to play. But it plays really well. That's the thing. Asymmetrically play well. Uh, sandbagging means smurfing. Basically another term for smurfing. So obviously the top right player gets a paradrop, right? Top, er, top left player gets a paradrop, but top right doesn't get a paradrop. But they get an extra oil instead. So. It's like. I I don't know. I just feel a little bit weird about this Cold, uh, Cold War. Because. It's. Uh, it's. Weird in the sense that you get an oil. And you get. Uh, a power drop instead. But on the other hand. It kind of works out. Because it's one thing for another right. I don't know. We'll see. Legend, what the fuck? Why did you ask if you're, if you're not gonna be able to play, what? What? Fucking a legend. It's a mind games, man. It's a mind games. Alright, Woody opting for tech immediately. Let's have on three miners. Woody's on three as well. Rhino counts. About even, so not really overpowering just yet. And single walls from both. Double for Latov. And there's the IC from Woody. So even, <laughs> oh my god, even though, oh, and the naval yard there, even though Woody went for an IC quickly, uh, and Latov has two war factories now, 
There's a fourth miner out here. He's still on even number of rhinos with uh, with Latov. So someone wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around that. It's it's a little bit hard to believe. But either way, Latov going to spit down towards the bottom here. I think he might want to get that navy out of the way before a dreadnought comes in. He does. Uh, uh, he is able to reach it. Can he get it before the rhinos come in? He absolutely does. He should be getting that oil as well. To get it out of the way. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see, Wing Chun. Oh, your name is Dave, right? If I'm not wrong. Can I just call you Dave? Wing Chun is hard to say. <laughs> Woody also right now. The naval yard this time out of range from the rhinos. Okay. I think that oil too, but Woody playing a very different play style here. He's not really being aggressive. He's chilling back in his base, waiting for that IC or waiting for that dreadnought actually to uh, pop up and come in. Oh, look at all of these para drops. And out comes the dread. What does Latov have to reply for this? Top player often gets the dread first. Oh, and the IC to counter. While he pushes it along the bottom, does Latov has a micro? He should be able to win this fight if he micros it well. But the dread is ready, but it's not shooting. Unfortunately, Woody wasting that I see actually. He does a good job in holding uh, for for a while. It doesn't really fight anyway, but he could have done a lot more with that I see. But it doesn't really matter because there's one rhino left remaining. The dread takes out one oil. Lads off. That's everything to reply. No flight tracks. No flight cannons. No nothing. Not even encounter naval yard for him. He's gonna sell that war factory so he doesn't get damaged. Oh dear. Alright, it's all or nothing now for Latov. Yeah, Dread is taking out a lot of stuff. A lot of his units. Woody is playing the camping game, but he's gonna call GG anyway. Yeah, 6 0. Yeah, well, like, uh, like we were saying in chat, when it comes to tournaments, right? Woody does not. When, when money is involved, Woody does not miss a beat. And he does not drop a single drop of water when transferring water to any sort of material or any sort of a vessel there is. So, in QM, sure, he'll play around, he'll go allied for the fun of it, he'll go Germany and probably still win. But when it comes to stuff like winning games with money, he'll put on the full shift and he will make you suffer. Kind of reminds me like of... of, of uh, of a certain someone, right? Who will do anything when it comes to money. Um, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna take that back. I'm just gonna leave that there. Like, uh, when it comes to money, a lot of people will do a lot of things. Um, some scummy things, some really honorable stuff, etc, etc. But when it comes to Woody, right? When, he, when, when one is involved, he goes a full shift and he doesn't miss a beat. He keeps going forward. And he beats everyone based on pure skill. Like no, no cheesing, no nothing. Um, no cheesing, no NGs, no, no seals, no Tarnas, no Ivans. Like, it, it's really amazing to see. Like this guy can just activate a beast mode button and he'll be the best player in the world. If not, he'll just activate a uh, troll lol lol button and he'll be like, yeah, I'm losing to Latov as allied. What is 19 years old? Yeah. No, Pav, they didn't. Uh, we are using the... Oh, laptop, that's horrible. We're, we're using the... Um, FC has some new tunnels for some secret project. So we're using a tunnel based in Japan. At the moment. Because FC Asia is down. Time is running out. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I haven't watched Spy Family actually. Uh, everyone's been telling me it's good, but I don't know whether it's my kind of anime to watch. Alright, anyways, back to the game. What is now on 5 minus here? He had to move them to be all the way towards the left side, latter off on 6. Oh, the drone gets in. 
Yeah, let's have some 6 minus because... Uh, what is the less on 1 minus because he didn't move all the way towards the left side for that uh, extra ref. So now he's on 6 minus equal. Uh, it's going to send that minor all the way towards that 70 point in the middle. While he pushes in down to its top left. And double war is out. Oh dear. So let's have on one single war. Woody just got the double war, but Rhino counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rhinos. Eight. Let's have one, two, three, four. Double the amount of rhinos. Five. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Like the only the only reason uh the only sort of reasoning that he can probably come up to is probably this guy is just too good. This is way too good. We've seen him stream. We've seen him play uh matches on Billy Billy and it is legit. There's no there's no cheats there, there's nothing there. In a game with no lag like this one, there's absolutely no cheating involved. He the guy is just a pure robot and a pure beast. So Latov's looking to split here on the left and the right side. Latov should be able to win this far on the right. Because Woody has his War Factory primed, but it pulls away on the left. <laughs> I like this. Latov absolutely using Snow Valley to its full extent here. Absolutely pulling away from everything, and he goes in to snap a minor Woody very late to reply. A one minute gets snide, but will he survive that tank engagement? If he does not, Latov's gonna be looking to take down as many rhinos as he can. Moving back and forth again across that refinery, so the rest of the rhinos do get damaged, but doesn't go down. Woody's gonna choose to pull back actually and probably repair those rhinos while he pushes it on towards bottom left again, out tanked. And takes away that drone before he moves his MCV. Woody now on four walls, quadruple war. Let's have just on the triple with a radar. And is he moving <laughs> here? He's moving here. Okay. Touch moving towards the gems. So, this, uh, here's a question. On Snow Valley on the map, like there's a literal valley right here. Um, players don't often go with like, oh, good snipe there from Latov. Huge snipe, really good snipe there. Just that minor one that wasn't uh, mining really efficiently. Why don't players put desos on the cliff here and just put a bunch of connies with it to defend against any drones? And you know you can damage any rhinos coming across. It looks like they're not going to do it. Woody's putting on to the right side here. Going to snap that miner on gems. I thought resulting the drones to deal with this rhino push. All three, all four drones does get in. But the MCB is not in trouble. Can Woody get it up before it goes down? Lots of no. He does get it before it goes down. Lots of force to sell it. Pump pops out a bunch of conscripts. And that's going to cause... So much pain here. Lots of gonna deploy the Desos in the radiation while Woody is pushing in. It does get rid of the Desos there, that drone from Woody. But Lots of now without an MCV, does he have the capability to rebuild one? No, he does not. So, a huge, huge mishap there. Excuse me. And Woody's still repairing his rhinos. So Latov looking to defend that spell on the right side. He does snipe Woody's MCV. That's uh, pretty huge as well. Oh, Woody's already on quadruple war. Has a uh, all patch down towards the left side. And another man is going to get sniped here by Latov again. A small split going in towards the top left for that long distance minor. But uh, the game seems to be going pretty much everywhere at this point. But from this, uh, from the looks of it, Latov is getting out tanked here by Woody. Uh, for example, A on the exhibit A on the left side, exhibit B on the right side here. Three rhinos to about eight or seven or six. But Latov doing some really good maneuvers and getting his way into Woody's base. 
But he needs to defend against this at the same time. Horrible tackle throw up against that cliff. Woody. High number of rhinos will be able to push through without any tank control or minimal tank control, I'd say. And he's making a huge dent in Latov's army as well, snapping those miners bit by bit by bit. Elite Rhino as well, appearing for Woody. Latov gonna snipe another miner, but it's pretty much over this game. There you go. 7-0 Alright, here we go. Latov's last chance to get a win for <laughs> My bad. Alright, it's my fault. <laughs> Gonna say valley bottom BVB, yeah. Oh no, turn this shit off. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Had a long day. What do you mean, all day today? Alright, let's go again. I pulled the mat. And the mat won. Okay. Uh oh. He's not loading in. Oh, he is loading in. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't see that. Alright, so. Golden State Valley. Top left, bottom right. It looks like it's gonna be Woody down on bottom right. Last of them on top left. So, lot of last chance here to get a win. If he loses this, he loses the entire series. And uh, that's gonna prevent him from getting into the semi-finals or even a third place spot here. By the way, I think we are gonna have a Kyo against Kuos on Tuesday. So... I think I'll be able to schedule Shen against Woody tomorrow. And hopefully Marco Legends tomorrow as well. Legend, if you're here, please reply my DM. <laughs> um, hey there, Legend. What's it like in New York City? We're a thousand miles away back home, but tonight you're still not replying my messages. Alright, double drone here for a laptop. This is where I think a double drone could be very... Uh, very handy here. Players do have that expansion. So getting a drone here and a here would be really, really great for him. A bit of lag coming through here. Don't like it. I don't like it. Let me see if they want to re for it. I think we should re. Legend, reply my DM. Move forward. I think the lag might sort itself out. Okay. So no drone in for uh, for Latov. First one gets killed down in the middle. Uh, Woody did get a drone in, but it did go down anyway, but it looks like Lata I'm gonna pull in some maneuvers here. He absolutely will with that early Rhino back in. He will probably snap this miner away. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, Lata, he doesn't. Uh, there was the option to go around there, but he tanked it. He absolutely tanked it with that Rhino and now Lata with only three run miners remaining. Two war factories. Woody's on one war factory. And one, two, three, four miners. So that's half a miner behind. He's gonna have to make another ref. I think he will make another ref nearby here for a maximum efficiency or on the left of his MCV. Woody on the, on the other hand has a handful of rhinos, about six. 
Uh, Tough has about seven, so even number on rhinos as well. So definitely not the end here for lads of Woody going a double war. Oh yeah, he gets droned again here. And the service depot is too far away, so Latos is going to be forced to kill that miner, putting him down back to three miners. Oh, Woody's on four here. And he goes for another drone down to his bottom left. Are oh, we going to hide it behind a tree? Latos sells his MCV. I understand why his ego is not doing well and he needs to keep out the production. But that's a very, very bold move. He doesn't have any choice other than to sell that MCV. Because if he goes to make another miner, he'll be way further behind on wars. And on rhinos especially. Ooh, looks like another mm, drone caught in, but it caught into a rhino instead of a miner. So a bit of lag is coming through here as well. B -b 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 -b. Not something that you like to see. It looks like Woody sold his MCV as well. Triple war compared to Latov's double war. So Latov's gonna have to make a move sooner or later before this lead from Woody gets out of hand. Because if we look at the gold remaining, Latov does still have quite a bit. Woody's about to go dry. Oh, Woody has a lot of eco in the bank. Wait, not so much, about 2k in the bank. And he's chasing Latov down here with the fodder. What is Latov going to do here? He's going to engage. Going to use the miner as fodder. Latov doing a good job here while he pushes in down towards the other side as well. Fortunately, a little bit of a commitment there from Latov. Does he have the micro to collect the rhinos? He does not. Woody. High number of rhinos. Latov called GG. And uh, down he goes. 8-0 for Woody. Undefeated in another tournament yet again so far.